What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our Player of the Week review. We've got a couple of re-releases here. I think that this pack really, realistically is for newcomers, man. I think if you have been playing the game for longer than two or three months, you will probably be on your 10th version of Mbappe. I mean, I think I have like four versions of Mbappe myself. I have a standard. I have the Player of the Week from a couple of weeks back. Then I have the free French one. And I think I have another uh, Player of the Week one as well that I spun on a free spin. So yeah, if you are a newcomer, obviously, and you are looking for Mbappe and you don't have a massive amount of GP, I think that this pack is good if you do spin him. And obviously, you've got Ferran Torres and Son who make up this as well. You've got a couple of decent players like Analis here and uh, War Pros if you're looking for something different. But the rest are kind of filler and it is a bit disappointing. Um, and I'm going to show you why in just a second when we compare them with their standard versions or we compare them with comparable players. So we have got Sun here. We will start with him because Sun is ob obviously going to be an important player if you do get him. Personally, I think since V2.4, I've actually been playing a little bit better with Sun. Um, I tested him out against the AI a couple of times. He is on A rating with this player of the week. Obviously, the player of the weeks all have the A rating here. And he's got every stat that you could possibly want. Now, I think Sun's best position because of his stats is through the middle as a center forward or an SS. He's got the mobility. He's got the finishing. He's got the speed. And he's got the versatility to be able to get in and out of positions with that prolific winger um, uh, play style not coming in when you're playing him through center. But his AI is actually quite decent enough because of his high offensive awareness. And he also has unwavering forms. So you're going to have him up more often than not. 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 finishing, and 89 offensive awareness. His balance takes a, uh, a slight hit on this card. Um, but I think that's just, just to kind of keep him balanced. I think the balanced, uh, pardon the pun, but the balanced stat is important to keep every player kind of like fair that the defenders can kind of catch up and push players off the ball. Next up, we have got Bruno. I'll do the bottom pile first, and then we will focus on Zin Zinchenko in a second. But we have got Bruno Fernandes. He is going to be... Look, if you have got... Bruno's down as a right midfielder here, which is a bit unique uh, for this card. But he's got standard form. He's got excellent creative midfielder uh, player skills. But he is an actual... He's a box-to-box -box play style. So it is a bit of an interesting card. And this is what I like to see with the player of the weeks. Because obviously certain players play out of position. They don't play, you know, attacking midfielder, center midfield every week across midfield. Um, and I do like the fact that they have kind of rewarded Bruno with this. Obviously, Rashford is a big shout as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, Bruno's had a load of additions as well brought out. He's got fairly decent stats, but depending on where you're playing him, like uh, with the way that the gameplay plays, you're not really going to be playing him on the right mid because he's too slow, man. He's just way too slow for that position. You can't train up any of these cards, obviously. So for me, he is a bit of a bust at right midfielder. Now, center midfielder, because he's got box to box, you could actually play him as center midfielder or AMF, uh, depending on your play style. And he does have fairly good stats if you just want to spray the ball around as a center midfielder. But then there are other players there that have equally as good passing stats and dribbling that also have higher defense. So he is a bit of a disappointing card there, unless you are a United or Bruno fan such as I am. So for me, I probably, you know, would be happy enough to get him. Next up, we've got Zinchenko. Now we're going to take a look at Zinchenko here. Um... Because when you look at his stats, right, low lofted pass, weighted pass, true pass, and pinpoint crossing. Left back, he's going to be 93 overall. Obviously an Arsenal player, so good form. Although they have been struggling as of late. But when we look at his stats, right, I think this is the problem with a lot of these player cards, right? Now, Zinchenko is on A form, you know, his, his standard card as well. But if you look at the stats there and you're saying, right, he's a 93 overall player, um, which is fairly beefy, right? But where are the stats going that boost up his overall? And it's 88 into low pass and 86 into lofted pass, right? So he's only got 79 speed, which is a bit disappointing for this card because if you look at his standard card, which is available for 76,000 GP, you've got pretty much everything that you could need in this card. And I think it's a better version of him for the standard card. So, you know, you've got higher defense. You've got very similar dribbling and uh, speed and acceleration, balance and stamina. And the only knock you're taking on this card is low pass and lofted pass. Now, if you are going to play him the way you would be playing the player of the week version of him, which is a lot of crosses, right? You don't need to have the defending up so high. You can have the defending down at the 80 with the aggression. I will put it there. And then you can pump up four into the pass and to bring it very, very on track with that player of the week. But for me, 
Uh, I think that that standard version is the way to go with that card. That's just my opinion. Um, so it is a bit disappointing. We've also got Hateta as a whole player here as well. The Celtic man. Good stats. Very, very fast. Obviously, I wouldn't be playing him as a CMF. I'd be playing him as an AMF. But then he doesn't have the passing for an AMF. Um, and he does have a lot of shooting stats and one touch pass and true passing, which is a bit unique for him. Um, yeah, he's a fairly decent card, man. But I just think the problem is, unless you are a newcomer, a lot of these cards are going to be, you know, not worth it. And then we've also got a Perrin in goals. I remember Perrin back in Master League days, lads. He was always a bit of a hidden gem. 89 goalkeeper reflexes. Yeah, I mean, he's fine. Look, if you spin him and you are starting off in the game, he's not a bad goalkeeper to have. You don't need to spend too much time uh, thinking about it. Pedersen, to round off these kind of low-rated guys, you've got Fighting Spirit, which does does help with stamina. He's got good he's got good pace and aggression is 80, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, not bad at all, but passing and dribbling are kind of low for a right back. I don't think you're going to be getting up and down the pitch that often with him with the way that the stamina is now. I think you need that to be about 90. We've also got Mbemba. Didn't this guy play for Newcastle at one stage, if I remember correctly? He's got fairly average defense stats, you know, the highest being aggression, and then he's got acceleration and speed, 81 and 76, 89 jumping. He's more of an aerial kind of player, even though he's small. Uh, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a skip for me. Uh, Sergio Canales, this guy is a bit of a monster, lads, if you're playing him as an AMF. Good acceleration, good kick and power, good balance and stamina for that position. Speed is, is okay as well. Offensive awareness is fine. Um, and it's all about, you know, tight possession, low pass, and then his player skills and his unwavering form. So he's got one touch pass, true passing, pinpoint crossing, double touch. He's got a load of really nice skills. I do think that he is pretty decent. And again, he's down as a right midfielder. I would not be playing him right midfielder. I'm going to have to play him as a creative attacking midfielder. Um, and he will be a beast. Now, War Pros is an interesting one because he is probably one of the best free kick takers in the game. And he's probably worth carrying in your squad if you do struggle with free kicks. That if you are getting a free kick, man, you need to be probably scoring, I would say, you need to be scoring 7 out of 10 free kicks that are 30 yards or in. Um, unless you're coming up against somebody that manual goalkeeper uh, or manual goalkeeps or you're coming up, you know, you're just, you need to be hitting the target and getting corners out of it or getting rebounds or whatever. Um, don't ever try and waste a, a goal kick or a free kick. Now he's got excellent stats, right? For a center midfielder, he isn't that slow for a center midfielder, but he isn't that defensive either. So it depends on how you want to play him. You're going to have to play him like uh, kind of Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Tony Cruz, not really relying on his pace, but more his player skills. Long range shooting, first time shot, one touch pass, true pass and way to pass, low lofted pass. But he also has interception. So with those free kicks as well, 93 set piece taken and 90 low lofted pass, he's probably the closest uh, you'd get to Beckham without. I did a video on him before, I'll link it. Um, and he is quite decent. Now we've got Ferran Torres. And again, we're going to do a comparison here with Ferran Torres and one of the standard players, right? You look at Torres' stats here for a winger, and it's just very, you know, apart from the player skills of having true passing and low lofted pass, he's got all the dribble skills that you could want, but the rest of his stats, man, are very, very, very average compared to the, the, to some of the wingers you can get for very cheap now in the game. And when I'm talking cheap, I'm talking literally like playing seven or eight games, clearing the match pass, clearing the events, and logging in, and you, you will have money for, you know, a player to compare with him, right? He does have fairly okay stats, but look at Mares, right? Mares here is going to have 90 ball control, 89 dribbling, 87 ball or tight possession. He's going to have very same finishing, curl, um, speed and acceleration obviously takes a bit of a hit, but balance is there. So it's a very similar player, very similar player skills, very similar style of winger because he's not outright pace. You know, it's, this isn't Dembele or it's not uh, Diaz from Liverpool or it's not Diaby from Bayer, Le Bayer Leverkusen. And then last but not least, we have Killian. Mbappe, I would say probably a top five player in the game. This version of him, the standard version of him, it doesn't really matter, right? I actually think the standard version tracks very, very well with this player of the week, right? So the three key stats here we're looking at for a center forward such as Mbappe's style is going to be Romario-esque, right? So we've got dribbling, check, that's 90. Speed check is 93 and acceleration is 93. So check on that as well. We also have 86 finishing. But when we actually go over to his standard, we're going to have a very similar player here with 88 offensive awareness, 93 speed and acceleration. The balance, the stamina, the finishing, the tight possession, everything is there, right? So obviously, what is unique about this Mbappe card is the, from the banner here is they say his true passing. Are you going to be really using his true passing there? 
you know, in the positions that you're going to want to play Mbappe. I don't think so, personally. Uh, Son also has super sub, which is, you know, kind of changes this card quite a bit. If you do not have Son, he will probably have become... If you get this card, he'll probably be, you know, one of the best super subs in the game. So... That is it for me, lads. Obviously, look, all of these players um, are kind of geared towards, you know, if you don't want to spend a million GP on Mbappe and then train him up, this is the finished version of him. You know, it's it's done and dusted. You can have, you know, the best one of the best versions of Mbappe instantly. So that's kind of where the allure is for these players and the fact that they have all got 90 team play style proficiency as well in any system. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another few videos. We've got a couple of epics to review today. Alternatives, live updates, and I hopefully will be streaming later. If not later, then definitely Friday. So we will talk to you in a bit, lads. Peace.